Hi everyone, welcome to Wish Problems. So in this video, we will be looking at AM5, Area of Triangle and Coordinate Rules, Analytical Geometry, Class 8, as Techno. So, let's start. First, how to find the area of triangle we will see. So, area of triangle. So, you know the formula for triangle, right? It is half into base into height. But, this is according to the quadrant so it is a coordinate geometry so that means we are having coordinates right coordinates so based on that value how we are going to get the formula half into x2 x1 minus x2 uh, then x1 minus x3 and uh, then y1 minus y2 and finally y3 minus y1 so this is how we are going to sorry sorry y1 minus y3 y1 minus y3 so this is the formula how we are going to solve uh, uh, suppose if they have given us some points like 1 comma 0 uh, 2 comma 0, uh, 2 comma 3 and 4 comma 5 if they have given these three points to us, how to find the area of triangle? So, this one will be, first this will be x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3. So, a triangle has three sides, right? 1, 2 and 3. So, in that case, if you take, you have to substitute here. Then after that, AD minus BC, right? Second step will be AD minus BC. That means you will, uh, this, pro, this, this, uh, Difference and this difference you will multiply and subtract it from these two difference minus uh, subtract it from x1 minus x3 into y1 minus that product. Okay, that is subtraction. So this will be uh, here AD and BC. So A, B, C, D. That's what that's why we will get it like this. So I think you understood in how which way you have to solve. Now there is one more formula. There are totally three formulas in which you can. Find the areas of area of triangle. So let's me uh, let me do that also. So these are the three formulas. So second formula is half into x1 y x1 x2 x3 x1 sorry x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 x x1 y1. Okay, so this is very big one actually simplest one I can say is this is the simplest one because this one you will write all the values here you will put it there each and everything you are supposed to cross multiply. That is AD minus BC. So it is time waste we can say. Okay. So this is easy I can say. And this one is so long that it will uh, take a lot of time for calculation. So better you can use this. Okay. So this form Just note this formula. It is very important also. But we can use whatever we want. Now we will discuss area of quadrilateral. So area of quadrilaterals. So just have written quad. Here quadrilaterals is there. You can just copy it there. So, quadrilateral means they are having four sides like this. Hmm? This is a quadrilateral. One, two, three, four sides are there, right? Yeah. So, it can be rectangle, square, rhombus, parallelogram and uh, many others examples. Okay. Formula, we will see how to find the area. Now, if you take like numerics, no? For tri uh, rectangle, you will have s c into s so these are this one side side one side two any side one side this two sides you can multiply right so you have to do that that means l into b so length breadth this is the formula for rectangle now if you take square s s all sides so it is s square right but for the quad for uh, coordinates for every quadrilateral, it is going to be the same formula. But for us, no. For a rectangle, one formula. For square, one formula. So, it will differ. So, here it will not differ. It will be the same. Okay? So, for quadrilateral area also, we are having three formulas. So, first one is half into x, uh, x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3, x4, y4, x1, y1. Then, one more formula. X, uh, half into this is... This means nodules means whatever the value if it is coming negative also it is going to be positive. Okay, that's it. Half into x1 minus x3 by x2 minus x4 
y1 minus y3 and y2 minus y4. Then one more formula. This is the biggest formula. So better we will use the second one only because this is small. No need to do much of. Just we need to do this cross. Here, this one, this one, 4 you should multiply. And here you can't even remember this so well. Just you will forget it easily. But you can remember x1, y, x1, y2, x2, y1, x2, y3, y2, x3. Just ulta and put it there. Okay. So this is the area of quadrilateral. Now we will discuss the challenges of this uh, aim. So challenges. First question is that we have to find the area of the triangle. What are the points? First I will write 1, 2. And one more point is, um, which is that? Yes, 3 comma minus 4. One more, another point is uh, minus 2 comma 0. Okay, for this, let's find the area. So, area of triangle. What is the formula we will use? The simplest one shall we use? Okay. That is half into x1 minus x2 and x1 minus x3, y1 minus y2 and x, I'm sorry, y1 minus y3. Clear? This is the formula. Now we will this, uh, solve half into x1. x1 is 1, 1 minus x2 is 3 y1, y1 is 2, x2, oh, sorry, y2 is minus 4. So, minus into minus is uh, plus, right? So, plus 4. Now, x1, x1 is 1, x3, x3 is minus 2. So, minus into minus is plus, so plus 2. Now, y1, y1 is uh, 2, y3 is 0. Sorry, 2 minus 0. Anyways, it's going to be same. Half into... What is 1 minus 3? Minus 2. 1 plus 2, 3. 2 plus 4, 6. 2 minus 0, 2. Now, cross multiplication. Okay. So, how to do? Half into. Now, 2, 2 is a 4. So, minus is there. So, minus 4 minus 3, 6 is a 3, 6 is a 18. Right. Now, what you solve this? You will get. Uh, minus 4 minus 18 is minus 22. Okay. In that uh, nodules you, can, you have to keep it. Okay. Please check it. Now. 2 ones are 2 elevens are minus 11. But I told you just now inside the nodule going to be positive. So 11 square units. As you all know, area means we are going to have square units. Yes. Okay. Now we will see next question. Now second one. So here they have given us three points. K comma 0, 3 comma 4 and 5 comma minus 2. And also they have given us the area. So it is 10 square units. Okay, so we have to find the K point here. See, there is an alphabet there. K comma 0, 3 comma 4, 5 comma minus 2, right? So that's why K is the alphabet. So we have to find that. So how to find? We will use the simplest formula? No. Every time Y, let's use the biggest formula also. So you will get some example. For all the formula, you will get to know the substitution also. Half into the formula and write. So this is the Biggest formula we have, okay, equal to, so this triangle area is what, 10, right, now what we will do, now x1 what we will substitute, it is k, right, so x1 is k, now y2, y2 is 4 minus, y3 is minus 2, so minus into minus is plus, right, so plus 2, clear, plus, x2, x2 is 3, now y3, y3 is minus 2, y1 is 0, so minus into, so minus 0, right, so yeah, plus x3, x3 is 5 into y1, y1 is 0, minus 
y2 is 4. Okay? Fine. Now, here 10 equal to half into, now k into 4, 4k plus 4, k into 2 is 2k. So, what is 4k plus 2k? It is going to be 6k. So, directly shall I put it? Yeah. Next, 3 into minus 2, minus 6. So, 3 into 0 is already 0. So, minus 6 we will have. And 5 into 0, 0. 5 into minus 4 is minus 20. Clear? Now, we will discuss. Uh, yeah. What we will do? We will send this half to LHS. Okay. That means this will become reciprocal. Ulta. Right? The number will become ulta means 1 by 2 will become 2 by 1. So, 10 into 2 is 20. Clear? Is equal to half is there, right? So, half now it's not there because we sent it to LHS. Now, 6K minus 6 minus 20. Now, what I will do? I will send this uh, minus 20 to LHS. So, then it will be 20 plus 20, right? 40. 40 is equal to 6K minus 6. Wait, wait, wait. We didn't absorb this, right? This also is there. Let's have, uh, add for the, I mean, subtract them first. So, minus 6 minus 20 is minus 26. So, 20 is equal to 6K minus 26. Now, 6K is equal to uh, 20. Sorry. This uh, minus, 20, uh, minus 26, bring it to LHS, it will become plus 26. Now, 6K is equal to 20 plus 26. We are going to get it as 46. Clear? Now, so, 2, 3 is a 2, and 2, 2 is a 4, and 2, 3 is a 2. So, 2, 23 is a. Now, you can't do anything more, right? Because 23 is not uh, divisible by, I mean, it's not a multiple, right? So, we can just put it as K value. 23 by 3. Yeah, it's okay. No need to put it in points. It's fine if it is in fractions. Okay. Now we will see third one. Now, fourth question is, they have given us uh, three points. They are the midpoints of this. So, A, B. One minute, I'll draw a triangle. So, for A, B, what is the midpoint they have given? This uh, 9, comma. 7 B C and C A. So this is a triangle. Midpoints means exactly in the middle of that. Right. Like this. Huh. So now uh, they have given those points to us. So let's join them. So it is B E F we will make. Clear? Now we have to find. They have given us these points, right? What are the points? I have written on the board. Now, we have to find the area of triangle DEF. That is equal to formula is half into x1 minus x2 y, sorry, x1 minus x3, y1 minus y2, y1 minus y3. Half into x1 is 9, minus x2 is 2, x1 is 9, minus x3 is 0, y1 is minus 7, y2 is 4, minus, you will write, minus, uh, y1 is minus 7, and y3 is 0. Now here, half into 9 minus 2, 7, 9 minus 0, 9, or minus 7 minus 4, minus 11, 7, minus 7 minus 0, minus 7. Okay. Now cross multiply. That is AD minus BC. So 7, 7 is 49, right? So minus 7 is there. So half into minus 49. 9, 11 is 99. So plus 99. So just subtract it half into 99 minus 49 50 so 
25 is right. Square units. Okay, this is the answer. But we have asked us for the triangle ABC area. They asked. Okay, we found DEF. So there is one formula. Now first I'll explain how that formula has come. See, there are one triangle. How many triangles are there? First we'll discuss. See, inside the big triangle ABC. One first triangle. Two then this one. 3 and this one 4. So 4 triangles are there right inside it. So triangle area of triangle ABC will be equal to 4 times the area of DEF. Understood? So 4 triangles are there. So one by all areas will be same right if you find this area i mean we found the def area right so all the, these four areas will be same so if you multiply all the four area it means abc area right that's it i think you understood now now area of abc means 4 into def is 25 right so area of abc triangle is 100 square units clear this is the answer for fourth one now I will see a fifth one. So now fifth one they have given us four points as you can see. So we have to find the area of the quadrilateral. Formula simplest one we will use or the okay we will use the bigger one only half into x1 x2 x3 x4 x1 y1, y2, y3, y4, y1. Okay. So for this what we will do? Uh, substitute the values. So what is x1? 1. x2? 0. x3? Minus 1. x1? Again. Sorry, sorry. x4? 0. x1? 1. Now y1? 0. Uh, y2? 1. 1. Then uh, y3 is? 0 then y4 is uh, y4 is minus 1 and uh, y1 is 0 now everything cross multiplication when we do that means 1 into 1 1 right 1 plus 0 into 0 0 minus 1 into 1 minus 1 AD minus right minus of minus will become plus now minus into minus 1 plus 1 so plus 1 plus 1 now 0 into 0, 0 only. 1 into minus 1, minus 1. Minus into minus plus. Now 1 into how many ones are there here? There are 4 ones over here. So half into 4. So 2 square unit. Okay. Now we will see 6th one. So here, now here 3 vertices are given. How to find the 4th vertex? For a vertex for the quadrilateral is there is one formula okay for finding the fourth vertex the formula is x1 uh, plus x3 minus x2 okay in a similar manner for y also y1 plus y3 minus y2 okay now x1 value minus 1. x3 value 7. x2 value 4. Comma. y1 value 2. y3 value it is 16. Minus y2 value 1. 7 minus 1 6. 6 minus 4 2. Right. Next. Uh, 2 plus uh, 6 is 16 is 18. 18 minus 1 is 17. So 2 comma 17 is the D vertex. Okay. This is the challenges. So we completed challenges. Hope you all understood. Do like, share and subscribe to Vishwa Blooms. Bye.